Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a device dynamic group in Azure. So now let's get started. I'm in Azure Active Directory here. I'm going to click on Groups. And in Groups, there's a lot of um, options available. There's a Settings. Under Settings, there's General Expression Naming Policy. So I'm going to create a new group. Click on New Group here. And it's going to be a security groups. The group name, it's going to be Microsoft Manufacture. So I'm going to look for devices that are Microsoft Manufacture. The descriptions, all Microsoft devices assign or membership type the assign is the static um, queries so you want to choose dynamic device owner you can choose an owner if you want to but it's not required i'm going to choose adele click on select Dynamic device mem uh, members. Let's click on Add Dynamic Queries. Once you open up Dynamic Queries, you can choose the queries available for you. Click on the property. There's a lot of options available you can choose. There's um, account enable, objects ID, display name. Display name is the name of the device. IS rooted OS type this is the operating system type operating system versions and there's also manufacturer and model so I'm going to choose manufacturer operator it's going to say you can put it equals or contains I'm going to choose contain for the for this one and I'm going to type in the value it's Microsoft once you type it in and you click any area here, it's going to automatically put in the syntax for you. And you can copy and save the syntax later. This is it. And now I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to click on create. Once the group has created, let's go back to groups again. As you can see, a message here says successfully created group. And here is the name of the groups here. I'm going to click on it. Overview preview. So there's Membership processing status, it doesn't have any data yet. And membership last update, there's no data available yet. And if I click on member members, there will not be any members yet. So it's gonna take some time. I'm going to I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back. All right, now let's take a look at it again. Over overview so as you can see here membership process status is completed and the membership last update has been completed at the date and time here and let's go let's look at members and all the Microsoft devices shows up now so that's it that's how you create a dynamic collection in this case it's based on the manufacturer. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.